Welcome, Miss Heather here, here to read you one of our um, school books called Zinnia's Flower Garden. I love Zinnia's, and it is getting to be time that we're planting our garden and thinking about flowers because it's spring, and uh, come about May, mid-May, a lot of us plant our gardens. So let's look at Zinnia's Flower Garden. She's going to go plant her garden with her dog or cat and little mouse. My garden journal says up here. Spring has arrived. Zinnia is getting her garden ready for planting. She digs up the soil and turns it over with her shovel. She takes out stones and rakes the dirt smooth. The warm sun feels good as she works. And look, she's got help. Dog's helping. She's got all her tools. Zinnia carefully plants many kinds of flowers, seeds, and rows. She covers the seeds with dirt and pats it all down very gently. She sprinkles the ground with water. So if we look here, we've got Cosmos, Black-Eyed Susan, Asters. May 3rd, very busy planting my seeds today. Such hard work. Sweet pea seeds, Aster seeds, Black-Eyed See how all the seeds look a little bit different? Sweet pea seeds are just round, and then those are light colored and kind of look like popcorn shells. And the birds helping. Zinnia waits for the seeds to sprout. The seeds need the sun to shine, the rain to fall, and many days to pass. It is hard to wait so long for her seeds to grow. So these are different kind of clouds. We learned about different kind of clouds in class this year. Nimbus cloud, Sirius cloud, Cumulus cloud, Stratus cloud. This is May 12th. Rain all day. Ugh, but it is good for my garden. And then a rainbow. And she's got all her seeds out there. Every day Zinnia checks her garden to see if anything has happened. Look! The first seedling is poking its way up through the dirt. So this is May 20th, my first sprout today. Wow. Stages of germination. So you have the seed and then a little sprout. These are the roots. This is the stem that's coming out and then it becomes leaves. And pretty soon it'll have a plant and produce on it. Now, Zinnia's garden is full of green sprouts growing toward the sun. Little stems grow taller. Little leaves get bigger. Little roots burrow deeper into the earth. And it says over here, May 29th, lots of sprouts now. I can't even count them all. And look at all the different kinds of sprouts. Tall with little wisps. A little more leaf to them. These are just straight up. These are a little shorter. Just cosmos, sunflower, zinnia, aster. So these are all flowers. Zinnia takes care of her garden every day. When the sun is hot and the soil is dry, she waters her thirsty plants. And this is June 17th, no rain for a week. My garden is so dry. So look, this little mouse has got its hose and she's watering it with a watering can. Looking good. She pulls up pesky weeds that try to crowd out her plants. She inspects them for greedy bugs. She measures how tall her strong and healthy plants are growing. Every day they get bigger and bigger. This is July 7th. My sunflower plants are so tall. And then it says, I hate weeds. So you got to get in there and pull those pesky weeds out so they don't suffocate your pretty flowers. First thing in the morning, Zinnia runs out to check her garden. She's excited to see little buds growing on many of her plants. July 18th, my zinnias have buds. I wonder what color they are going to be. And look, you've got, this is, so this is the stages of a caterpillar. You got the eggs, and then the caterpillar, give the eggs, and they turns into a chrysalis, and then it becomes an adult, and then it's ready to fly. And then at last she finds what she has been waiting for, the first flower. One bud has bloomed. How beautiful! And what a sweet smell! There are many more buds that will open soon. And this up here says July 25th, my first flower today and lots more to come. Amazing! A big monarch butterfly landed on my finger. 
Oh my goodness. And look at all the different kind of butterflies on that page. And here you've got a picture of the flower and you've got the filament and the anther and the stamen. And that's, that's right here. That's in the middle of the flower. So this is the stamen. Parts of the flower pistil. This is a sepal. This is a receptacle. This is the petal. This is the stem. And then this is the very middle part here, the pistil. So you've got your stigma right up at the top, a style, ovary, ovary. Very nice. The garden grows and grows with blossoming flowers. Zinnia paints, reeds, and picnics among them. Butterflies flutter, bees buzz. Zinnia's garden is her favorite place to be on these warm summer days. August 11th. I love my garden. Look how beautiful her garden is and the bees in her garden. And she's able to paint in her garden. She's got a garden dress on. Her flowers are abundant, and Zinnia cuts some to arrange into bouquets. The fragrant scents of the flowers swirl around her in the warm breeze. Look at all the different kind of flowers. There she's cutting some of her sunflowers for her bouquet. Her bouquet is beautiful. So let's look at some of these flowers. We've got cosmos, marigolds, sunflowers, snapdragons, zinnias, that's her name, she's named after that, black-eyed Susans, sweet peas, sweet williams, asters. Oh my gosh, I, remember, I recognize some of those names from her seed packets. One hot summer day, Zinnia has a lemonade stand and puts up a sign. Pick your own flowers. Customers come and gather bunches of flowers and drop money in her jar. And then her journal says, August 28th. Busy today at my stand. Everyone loves my flowers. Look at all the money that it shows she's getting. And it says, pick your own flowers. Lemonade for sale. She's a smart girl because look how pretty that is with all the different kind of flowers. In the autumn, as it gets colder, Zinnia picks the last flowers from her garden. She finds ripe seeds that have formed. They are ready to be collected. She will save them to plant next year. And this is October 13th. Lots of seeds. I'll leave some for the birds. Oh, the birds love the seeds. Look at the dog and the cat and the bird. They all have flowers too. And the squirrel has a nut. So here we've got, this is your stem, these are the sepal, this is the stamen, and it's all dried up now, and this is a maturing ovary and a growing seed inside there, and this is the stigma. So all those parts are in that flower. This is from flower to seed, so it blooms, starts to wither away, then you're just left with the middle part, and then the middle part from in here, it drops out those growing seeds. And that's how they replant. And if a bird comes and picks that up and doesn't eat it, it can fly, drop it, and you can have a new flower somewhere else. The winter days are short. The sun is dim and the ground is covered with snow. But Zinnia is already planning next year's garden. When spring comes, she will be ready to grow her very own flowers again. So now she's in winter. And from winter it goes spring. Remember, they're just sprouting up. Early summer, they're getting pretty tall. The roots have grown a lot more compared to spring. And then in midsummer, they're really close to being all the way out. Their roots are really big. They have flowers now. Late summer, they're in full bloom. Full bloom with their leaves and their roots. And then in autumn, the flowers are dying back and they're coming to seed. They'll drop their little seeds and they'll replant. And on her journal, she says, December 27th, I can't wait until spring my flowers. Very nice. The end. Well that was very fun and maybe you can plant a couple plants yourself. I plant a lot of vegetables but my mom plants a lot of flowers and both are beautiful to watch and fun to grow and um, fun to harvest. Thank you so much for joining today. See you again soon. Mwah!